Hello and welcome everyone. I am Zadin. Today I am going to teach you a lesson about four basic prepositions that we use in English language. Four basic prepositions that we use in English language. So, and here is an introduction. I live at 200 Radabata Street by the river in a hotel on third floor. So in here, at, by, in, and on they are prepositions. And this is the title of this lesson that we are going to learn. So in this lesson we will learn what is the meaning of preposition and then what are the prepositions and also we will learn the uses of prepositions. So this lesson is very important and I hope you guys keep continuing watching this video until the end. And I hope you can get something new from this lesson. So let us get it started. So from the first we need to know what is the meaning of preposition. So the preposition is mean a word that used to link a noun or pronoun with the other word in the sentence. A word that used to link the noun or pronoun with the other word in the sentence. So in here, link, it means relationship between noun and other word. An other word may be noun or verb or adjective. For example, the dog is sitting under the table. The dog is sitting under the table. So the word under is preposition. So what are the prepositions? So they are at, in, on, by. There is too many but these are the basic prepositions that we use in English language. But the others like under, above, and so on. So let us start with preposition at. And in here we have at plus location. Or at with location. So we use at to point to a particular place. We use at to point the particular place or position or we use generally for the specific place. We use at for the specific place. For example, meet me at my house. Meet me at my house. So in here, meet me at my house, it doesn't mean to meet me at the hospital or at the market or at the bus station. So it means you have to meet me at my house exactly. You have to meet me at my house exactly. Another example, I will meet you at the bus stop. I will meet you at the bus stop. So in here also it means I have to meet you in the bus stop. So bus stop in here is the specific place. Another example, she is still at the school. She is still at the school. In here she is still at the school. It means she is still at the area of the school. She is still at the area of school. So in here we have at plus time. So at is expressing the time when an event takes place. At is expressing the time when an event takes place. And when we need to use at, we have to use in a particular time or in a specific time. So, as I have mentioned, 
add use with particular or specific place or location. So in here add also use with a specific or particular time. We have to mention an hour plus minute to show when the event takes place. For example, the bus arrives at 4.30 p.m. The bus arrives at 4.30 p.m. So in here, we have mentioned the particular time or specific time of bus. When the bus arrives, the bus arrives at 4.30 p.m. So this is a particular or a specific time. Another example, we have a meeting at 6 o'clock p.m. So in here, when we have the meeting, the meeting at 6 o'clock p.m. That doesn't mean 4 o'clock or 7 o'clock. It means 6 o'clock. This is the specific time. Another example, he is going to play football at the weekend. So in here, when he is going to play football, he is going to play football at the weekend. The weekend. The weekend is the specific time. So let us go to preposition in. And we have in plus transportation. In plus transportation. So we can say in the car, in the tax, something like this. Why we say in the car or in the tax? Because tax and car is very small and you cannot able to work inside the car or inside the tax. So we use in. That's why we use in, in the tax, in the car. So let us look in plus location. In plus location. So we use in generally with the something that enclosed or surrounded by something else. Something that enclosed or surrounded by something else. For example, I am in the room. I am in the room. Why in? Because I have the walls surrounding me. Because I have the walls surrounding me. Another example, I have left my phone in your office. I have left my phone in your office. So office also is very small. So like room. So in here we use also in. In. Another example, I have got the money in my pocket. I have got the money in my pocket. There is some milk in the fridge. There is some milk in the fridge. So another example to be very clear. So this is the cup and I can say my cup is empty. My cup is left empty. It means what? There is nothing inside. There is nothing inside. But how can I explain this? I can say my pen is in the cup. My pen is in the cup. So that is the meaning of in. Clear? Very good. So let us look in plus time. In also is indicate when something happened. For example, my birthday is in April. My birthday is in April. So April in here is indicate for the time. So in also used for longer period of time. For example, he got married in 1988. So 
1988 is longer period. Or he will get married in 2050. 2050 is also a longer period. So in also used for a part of day. For example, we had a party in the afternoon. We had a party in the afternoon. Afternoon is the part of day. So let us go to preposition on. And in here we have on plus transportation. So on is mean the surface of something. The surface of something. You can say on train, on bus, on plane, on boat. Why? Because on train, train is big and there is many people sit in that area. And also you can say on bicycle. Why on bicycle? Because you can never sit inside the bicycle, but you can sit on the bicycle. So that's why we use on, on bicycle. So in general, on use for the large vehicles or large things. On use with large vehicles or large things. So let us go to on plus location. On plus location. So on use also to indicate the location. So for example, I am on the floor. I am on the floor, but in the room, in the room, on the floor. So on is mean the surface of something. Another example, the card is on the table. The card is on the table. It's mean on top of the table. The book is on the table. The book is on the table. It means the book is on top of the table. He has spilled the milk on the floor. He has spilled the milk on the floor. So, spilled. It means pour. So, spilled the milk on the floor, not in the floor. On the floor. So, on use with flat surface. So the idea of flat surface is include water, like oceans, rivers, and lakes. For example, what is that on the water? What is that on the water? You cannot say what is that in the water. You can say what is that on the water. So in here we have on pillars time. So when we use on, we use on before all specific day or date or month. We use on before all specific day or date or month. You can say on Sunday, on Saturday, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Saturday, on Friday, something like that. On January, on October, on November, like this. Also, you can mention on pillars month or on pillars day. For example, the school is closed on Friday. The school is closed on Friday. It means on Friday the school is off. So, on is preposition and Friday is a specific day. Another example, we have a party on Monday. So Monday is a specific day and on is preposition. Another example, he was born on 20th October. He was born on 20th October. So October is a specific month and on is preposition. Another example, 
I have exam on January. I have exam on January. So January is a specific month and on is preposition. So let us go to preposition by. And in here we have by plus transportation. So in here by it means how did you get here? How did you get here? By car, by plane, by train. It's telling you how did you came here. How did you arrive here? So the question, how did I get here to do this video? How did I get here to do this video? The answer is, I got here by car. I came here by car. Another example, I went to Jakarta by train. So, by is preposition and train is a kind of transportation. So, let us look at preposition by plus location. By plus location. So, in here, by is means very near or very close. By it means very near or very close. For example, the boy is sitting by the window. The boy is sitting by the window. It means the boy is sitting near the window or is sitting very close the window. Another example, I am waiting by a car. I am waiting by a car. So in here it means I am waiting near the car. Another example, the house is by an airport. The house is by an airport. So in here it means the house is near the airport. The house is near to an airport. So in here we have by plus time. We have preposition by plus time. Here by is mean in time. By is means in time. So if I say I need a done by afternoon, that is a specific time, afternoon. And that is the end time of your limit. And that is the end time of your limit. So, in here we have exercise. Fill in the gaps with at, in, on, and by. Fill in the gaps with the preposition at, in, on, and by. Number one. The boy is sleeping the bed. The boy is sleeping the bed. So what's the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is on. The boy is sleeping on the bed. Very good. Number two. The house is the river. The house is the river. So what's the answer? By. Very good. The house is by the river. The house is by the river. That's the correct answer. Number three. You was born 1988. You was born 1988. What's the correct answer? In. Very good. You was born in 1988. So, because in we use with the longest period. Number four. I will meet you 1.30 p.m. I will meet you 1.30 p.m. So, what's the correct answer? At. Very good. I will meet you at 1.30 p.m. 
Number five, look at the picture. Where is the cat? Where is the cat? The answer is, the cat is on the chair. The cat is on the chair. Number six, where is the dog? Where is the dog? The dog is on the carpet. The dog is on the carpet. That's the correct answer. So the last question is, where is the boy? Where is the boy? So what's the correct answer? Very good. The boy is by the window. The boy is by the window. It means the boy is near the window. Very good. So that's the end of the lesson. And I hope you got something new from this lesson. And I hope to see you in next video. And thank you very much for watching this episode. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And I will meet you again soon. إذا كنت من المتابعين الجدد اشترك الآن في القناة ليصلك الجديد بالضغط على الزر الأحمر أسفل القناة مع تفعيل الجرس. ولا تنسوا دعم المقطع بلايك شكرا لكم إذا كنت من المتابعين الجدد اشترك الآن في القناة ليصلك الجديد بالضغط على الزر الأحمر أسفل القناة مع تفعيل الجرس ولا تنسوا دعم المقطع بلايك شكرا لكم